With the release of new support in AP items, there's a champion that I've been wanting to try out for a while, and it's Ash Support. I couldn't use her before because it was too difficult without the support items. But now that they're out, I'm free to wreak havoc on Wild Rift. I've already used her a few times, and holy moly, she's completely busted. And I'm not exaggerating, she's completely busted. I mean, you can literally use your ultimate every 20 seconds. And she's particularly aggravating to play against because she will harass and poke you during the laning phase. Not only that, but you can also direct her ultimate arrow, which can make sniping everywhere especially simple. You can't do that with a regular Ash on PC, because this Ash is better and deadlier. She is also very difficult to gank due to her hawk shot, which can see everything including wards. You couldn't ask for more from this champion. The only drawback is her lack of mobility. But that's it. You're missing out if you haven't tried her out yet. With that said, here is my build. For your support item, your Spectral Sickle was upgraded to Black Mist Scythe. It grants Adaptive AP or AD. When you kill or get an assist, it also reduces your enchantment cooldown. This is a must-have for Ash support. First item is Muramana for mana, AD, and ability haste. Boots of Lucidity for increased ability haste. Meteor Enchant for the ultimate AoE damage. I'm not sure why they thought adding this was a good idea. It deals magic damage equal to 25% of the enemy's maximum health. But it has a slow cast time, which I suppose balances it out. However, it's still busted. Imperial Mandate, also a new item, for increased ability power, health, and haste. It also works well with your volley, leaving a mark on all the enemies hit that my teammates can pop for additional damage. Awakened Soul Stealer for increased AP, mana, and ability haste. The most important aspect, however, is the ultimate haste it can provide. Mortal Reminder provides additional AD while also reducing the enemy's healing abilities. In that spot, you can also purchase a Banshee's Veil for enemies with a lot of CC. For runes, I take Airy for extra poke, Scorch for more burn damage, Bone Plating for added survivability, and Man of Blow Band for more mana. Finally, I take Flash and Exhaust for my spells. And now that's out of the way, let me show you this insane 32 minute game with Ash support. Enjoy! In this matchup, I'm facing Blitzcrank, which is a good counter to Ash because I lack mobility. I have to always be aware on where Blitzcrank is. In this laning phase, I will level up my volley and start poking them down for gold on my support item. Here you can clearly see the power of Ash. Together with Varus, our poke is just insane. Use your Hawkshot to scout the enemy jungler that may gank you. Why is there a random rocket? Oh, they have Jinx top. I didn't even notice that at first. But why though? This cork is probably typing about this Jinx top. Well, welcome to solo queue, Corky.
they don't even know that Vega sneakily walk into that bush. Get shit on! But this is when Ari comes and kills Varus. Then Echo tries to join in, but he died as well. I can't do much in the early game, besides poke and throw my ultimate. Why is this Shen still here? What do you want Shen? Get the fuck out! But then Varus face checks the bush where Shen is. I tried helping him, but then I got hooked and died. Thanks, Varus. They're doing dragon, and I just got my meteor enchant. Enemy slain. Ally slain. I'll simply just place that thing in the pit, and boom! Support died, and he stole dragon. They're probably so tilted right now. And by the power invested in me, I shall snipe this Ari in mid lane, and let Echo kill him. Boom! Just as I planned. Poor Corgi, he's been through a lot. But then Corgi sees me, and I see the blood in his eyes. He wants me dead, so he uses his package, but I immediately arrowed him in the face, which let me survive. But then Shen flash taunted me and killed me. And then Viger killed him. But then Ari comes and predicts Varus flash. But then Viger killed her. Echo comes for the cleanup and kills Bridgecraft. But Karki survives with 1 HP. But don't worry, because I am here. I fired my arrow and killed Kork. Well, that boosted my confidence so much. I only needed one shot. We're battling for the Rift Herald, and my goal here is to poke them down as much as I can to get them low and prevent the steal. Shen blast cones in to try stealing the herald, but I arrowed him straight in the face at the right time. Then we clean up, kill them all, flash the wall to assert dominance. I saw them still fighting at the top side. I sent my arrow once again and hit Blitzcrank. Then Echo finishes him off. Rampage.
but then Viger overextends and dies. Enemies took the Drake. Slain the dragon. Turret lost. Top turret is under attack. But luckily, no one died. Enemy killing spree. Shut down. Why are we all dying? Guys? This blue crank really wants me dead, isn't he? Hi Jinx, it's just me in the bush. Come fight me. I fired my arrow once again and hit Shen, killing him. Shut down. It's a fight for the dragon once again. I landed my ult on Ari, making her low. I will just poke them down until they're low so my teammates can finish them off. We're pushing the turret when Shen taunted me. I ulted him and just walked away. Show us the path. Hi Shen, volley. 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 He's still chasing us. What's wrong with him? But then I completely whip my arrow. But we killed him anyways. I'm basically full build at this point. I bought Mortal Reminder. But I should have bought Banshee's Veil instead. Because they have a Blitzcrank. And they have a lot of CC as well. I'm literally throwing my ultimate every 20 seconds. This is just nuts. Other great guest spawn. I whipped my arrow again. I was trying to poke them out, but then Blitzcrank actually hooked me. I flashed away, but I was trapped in the pit and I was killed.
The enemy team got elder and killed four of us, leaving Gragas left. Ally slain. Ally slain. Shut down. Gragas have placed the core key. But then fucking AFKs. Blitzcrank just punched him to death. What the fuck is this game, bro? I arrowed Blitz just to scare him away. Then we got Blitzcrank. But little did we know, he's just baiting us. It's Vigar and Gragas left. They need to defend the base. Huge cast! Ari goes in. Oh, look at the quest! Look at the steps everything, right and Vigor kills Ari. Wow. They actually did that. How come I don't get this kind of teammates every game? Jinx is forced to defend bot side. So they didn't have chance to do Baron. We got Jinx! But she survived. Fuck you, Shen. Huge arrow! Killed Corky. No, that's a lot of damage! They're chasing Vagar. But Vagar kills Ark. They're still hunting down Vagar. This Vega is literally faker. Also, their base is too low. Second Elder just spawned. Luckily, we got the elder. But somehow, we lost that fight. What the fuck? This Jinx top actually scaled too. They have 3 carries in their team now. We got blitz strike. Yes. Shut down. Fuck fighting. I'm going for the base. Ally slain. Killing spree. They're forced to defend the base. Shut down. We need Baron to win. This Echo just not wanna do the Baron. 
so much hate. I'm throwing out arrows left and right. Shen is just split pushing at this point. We need to defend him. Holy shit, that was close. Holy, that Vega damage. Did you see that? He literally one shot her. Not even close, baby! We aced them. That was a very close game. Seek peace. And that's how you win. Get a Vagar and one shot the enemy team. LOL. But in all seriousness, we should have won that fight on the first elder if I just bought banshees. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.